Welcome back to Serenity Sounds. I hope you've been finding some comfort and relaxation in these videos that I've been posting every week. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet or if you're new to this channel and want to see what Serenity Sounds is all about, I have been posting videos every Saturday where I integrate therapeutic harp music, mental health discussions, mindfulness, and meditations so we can join together and try to cope with the, uh, the negative circumstances that we're all experiencing right now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share the videos with anybody you think would benefit from, from these discussions and these exercises and the music. So today, um, what we're going to do is a meditation that is really great for feeling present, tuning into your body, tuning into your immediate surroundings. This is really helpful if you're feeling overwhelmed and bogged down by all of the bad news and you just, your mind keeps going there. This is kind of your moment to let yourself be free of those distractions and to focus on the here and now in your immediate vicinity, your immediate life, and, um, and try to pick out some of the positives, some of the positive things that you're feeling, um, the fact that you are still here and you're living and you're breathing. We're going to focus on things like that. Right. So as we begin, I'm going to have you start in a comfortable seated position and begin to calm your mind and take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And one more, inhale, and exhale. Now begin to breathe normally, and let your body settle into this practice. to look around the room and choose something to look at and study. This can be anything. It can be a piece of furniture, a wall, a knickknack, another item. Try to choose something that draws your attention naturally, something that stands out to you. And study all of its details. Notice its color, its shape, its size. Imagine that a sketch artist was going to ask you to describe this item and you wanted to give the most accurate description possible. Think about what details caused you to be drawn to that item. Are there any unique or different aspects of it, such as little imperfections? Notice how any imperfections that it has just adds to its beauty because imperfections don't make it ugly. They just make it more interesting and more gravitating. Now close your eyes and shift your attention to your inside self. 
Tune into what's going on inside your body. It could be a feeling, a thought, a sensation. And don't worry about the content of it, where it came from and why. Simply just be an interested witness to what's going on. Notice without judgment, but with affection. Let it flow through you and remind yourself that this is only a temporary state. You are not your thought. You are only experiencing your thought. You are not your feeling. You are only experiencing your feeling. You are not your sensation. You are merely experiencing your sensation. Feel the transience of your chosen thought, feeling, or sensation. It flows through your body, dynamic and fleeting. You have the choice to either harbor this feeling or let it go. Now, gently open your eyes and switch your attention back to outside your body. Find that same object that you chose to focus on before. Study all of its details once again, its color, its shape, its size, and anything else you notice. If a sketch artist asks you to describe it later, would you be able to? Send love and gratitude out to your chosen object. Its world is your world. One final time, close your eyes and draw your attention inward. Notice any thoughts, feelings, or body sensations. If any tension or negative thoughts and feelings arise, witness them and let them go. Visualize them flowing from your head, down your body, and straight through your toes dissipating in the calm atmosphere that you've been creating with your breath and energy. Now, breathe love and gratitude through your body. Then, expand that love and gratitude outward into the room, to the object that you chose, and beyond. 
Send love and gratitude to your fellow man. Your world is his world. Send love and gratitude to all the living and non-living beings in the universe. We are all connected. Feel the warmth of that gratitude flow in and around you as all of your surroundings take part and reciprocate that gratitude right back to you. Your surroundings thank you for the part that you play in this world. <laughs>